So guys, we are back with another Arctic Fox Power PC video. Actually, Christian Sigotsky, hopefully I said that right, uh, saw my other video and he's somehow involved in the project. Maybe he's a developer. I don't know. But he said that there is a newer version of Arctic Fox available, which I'm downloading right now. And he even posted me the download links and what's also very interesting is he says that I can watch YouTube videos with the add-on ViewTube. So we'll of course try that. So here is uh, the download. It's even working now on Ubuntu 10.04 which is very awesome. When we go to their GitHub here you we can see they fixed quite a lot of bugs in this version and there is also now a PowerPC version an unofficial version though uh, for 10.4 and 10.5 so it's also interesting to check that out but we of course now here solely focus on uh, Linux if you don't know this is a PowerBook G4 1.5 gigahertz a gigabyte of RAM and uh, it's running Ubuntu 12.04 LTS so um, yeah in the original video I made, uh, the 1204 was the oldest, but now it should even run on 1004, which, uh, as I said, is pretty awesome. So let's unzip that one. So the, the version here I'm testing is version 27.10.1, and there's even a test version out right now, 27.10.2a, but I decided to take the... Um, the stable version. So here it is unzipped. That is now 27.10 and uh, the previous one I tested was 27.9 so a little update there. Let's see if that works, if it launches. It does. It's not currently set as a default web browser. Oh yes I want to set this as a default web browser. Pretty good, awesome. Okay, so now we are apparently are at version 27.10. This is also including this bar here, which is nice. And uh, yeah, go to our website. There is my website. So we did that, and uh, now this is the main part of our video here we'll try to get YouTube working on a PowerPC Linux Mac that would be a first for me I've never achieved the working YouTube on a PowerPC Mac so that's some exciting stuff right now so yes what we'll try uh, what we have to do is we'll have to install uh, a plugin and uh, Hopefully that plugin still works in Ubuntu 12.04 because here they say it's 16.04 so uh, yeah um, we'll, we'll just uh, cross fingers here that it works. Browser plugin VLC. Okay we found it great. So, still working on 12.04, there it install it. Alright, next uh, we'll have to install the add-on GreaseMonkey version 3.31. So here is the GitHub for GreaseMonkey. It is a add-on for Pale Moon, but since this is a fork of Pale Moon, it says it right there, is a fork of Pale Moon, should be able to use that, so... Yes, uh... Does it say if you use it, you do it at your own risk? Yes, okay. So let's uh, download it then. Look here in our assets, 3.31. I think that is the one we need. At least I hope. 3.31.4 says this one is needed, so we'll use that one. Okay, here is the add on installer. Restart Pale Moon. Ah, 
Arctic Fox. Getting confused by all the browsers. Alright, so here is the monkey. And it is enabled. Let's see what preferences it has. Yeah. Alright. I think we don't need to mess around in there. So then, why don't we um, add the VueTube script to Grease Monkey? That's the thing that makes YouTube work. I'm just following the guide here, literally. That's why I'm reading everything to you. <laughs> so, to download VueTube, we'll go to sebaro.pro.viewtube and uh, just download it then. And here it says watch YouTube watch videos from video sharing websites with extra options. So here are all the links, daily motion, YouTube, Vimeo, and so on and so far. We'll just install it. You know that went pretty good. Awesome. So Grease Monkey allowed it. And now I think we have to activate the VLC plugin. Okay, yes, we have to do that. Okay. So let's go to add-ons then and plugins and it is disabled so that is the one we install from the terminal. Let's just click always activate, I mean what's hurting it. And now that should be it. Um, I'll just uh, restart the browser just for good measure, it's not necessary but Let's do it anyway. Let's see if it's still activated. It is, good. So, now let's try to play a YouTube video then. Let's go to youtube.com and try to play a YouTube video. Let's just search for the channel here. Here is, by the way, the other video. And uh, yeah, why don't we try to play that? Okay. High definition, I think that's not going to be possible on this CPU. Uh, Let's just let's just try it. Let's see how it uh, performs. I don't know. If we click there or something. Yes. Video format is not supported. Oh no. Yeah, I mean that's the quality doesn't matter if the video format is not supported. Uh, okay, so high bitrate audio web M did do, do something. And hear that I'm talking. Well, the thing is, the problem with my video is there's not a lot going on, so I can't really show you anything there. Let's just try a video where something is actually going on. Okay, let's start with low definition. Not supported. Oh no, and now it's redirecting us to the website if I click there, okay. Uh, hmm. Well, the problem is the computer itself isn't getting any faster. Uh, that's uh, still an old G4 with a gigabyte of RAM. It's barely keeping up with the whole OS, so yeah. Uh, if I go to resources. 100% slam CPU but once again RAM usage is really not bad 281 megabytes is really not a lot but uh, I must be doing something wrong what are these three dots here hmm well, if the MP4 isn't working, why don't we try here WebM? 
Well, yeah, I mean, it's good for listening to music now. So, we're back here at this screen. Here it now is in somewhat full screen. What is that? Click to download the selected video format. Uh. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So it's playing like in an external window tab, whatever. So here you go, guys. YouTube playback on a power PC. I knew I could get it working. Just didn't know that I have to press this other arrow, which is kind of embarrassing. Volume control there. There you go. I mean, this is a, a low quality video, but he played it smooth, no problem, nothing at all. If I, I mean, this is all just low definition there, so if I go, for example, somewhere else, this is a little fun uh, songs somebody made out of the Apple Keynote and tweets and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, you can still select low definition MP4. Here's like a full fat stuff of all the things we can choose from low bit rate, high bit rate, full high definition, ultra high definition. I think this is not gonna work on that machine for sure. Uh, high definition, standard definition, or low definition. Why don't we start off with standard definition MP4? And if I click there, I think it worked last time. So let's try that. It's doing itself right after press play. Huh. This MP4, I think I, I miss selected here. Yeah, it's a selected MP4 again. Uh, I needed to select here WebM. Link. Yeah, there is already our friend Craig here. Let's see if it plays. Hmm. And for some reason the audio is muted and the player looks different now. Did I have something else checked or something? Yeah, we got no sound in this case. But the video plays somewhat choppy. Uh. Huh. What well, what did I choose last time? I should have no take note of what I chose here. If I chose low definition, I think I think it doesn't like the MP4. Could that be? Yes, it just always. What? What? Now it now it's here. Okay. Oh my God. Yeah, we get some distorted sound here. I'm not sure if that's because I messed something up in the master sound thing or if if it's here in the video. But oh my god! Christian, Christian, whatever, you weren't kidding. This really works. Oh my god. This works so freaking well. I mean, yes, it's no HD. The computer is just not having the resources for that, but here low definition. I mean, this is smooth playback, no choppy things anywhere. Nothing. Let's see what the RAM says here. Uh, where did it go there? 183 megabytes, like, it's like n nothing at all. Maybe it's like the other process in the background that's actually handling this, could that be? But I don't think so. Huh. I mean, that is just unbelievable. <laughs> oh my god guys here smooth playback on the power PC in standard definition low definition but oh my god that really works so let's try then standard definition again where is that standard definition video let's try that again there okay our sound is gone again 
Oh, just just had it muted. Hmm. I think here we get a problem on my end here on the computer that something is wrong configured and that's why it's like having this distortion. Maybe the bass is like way up. Let's check here the gnome uh Yes, here that's what I meant, the ALSA mixer. Let's see if we can fix that. I don't think this is copyrighted, so I think it can just play fine. Let's see if we can fix that. Messed with this a little too much. Okay, guys, uh, so that played back in VLC. So let's try then. Why not try at least uh, high definition? Did we not choose? We, I think we chose no standard definition. Let's do high definition. HD, I think here it's uh, a little be struggling. All right, uh, doesn't want to start there, unfortunately. Let's see if we choose this one. But here the sound is muted again. Who knows why? But yeah, HD is not, isn't isn't going on this. That's just not not powerful enough, as you can see. So here we got uh, not frames per second, but much rather seconds per frame. <laughs> but hey, I didn't expect HD. I mean that that would be insane. But standard definition video MP4 here checked and click here on this link thing, and we get. A playback at least what this worked before what did I did the mp4 now not work oh my god this is confusing yeah now okay so that's a little buggy then because huh uh Standard definition MP4, I think that worked the previous test in the previous time we tried it. A refresh also didn't do it. And low definition MP4. Was it that one maybe? I mean, you can try and go through all these different. Presets there. Okay, now nothing's working anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's kind of a bummer because it was just working so nice for some time. Let's do a refresh here. Maybe it needs a refresh once in a while. I mean, that's a big leap by far. But I still stand by my word. Why would you push yourself through this? I mean, it's just there's just no reason why, really, other than for the sake of it. But hey, uh, I know so many really swear on these power PCs, and yeah, I don't understand that since computers are just so fast nowadays. You can get really powerful CPUs, much more powerful CPUs than that one for next to nothing. But hey, just my two cents. It's not not really. Uh, that I'm saying that this is a bad idea, this is actually great that some people still support these things. Um, really awesome. But uh, yeah, let's just try that once again here. This I think that worked the last time. Yeah, I kind of stopped working now. I don't know, what, what did we do guys? I don't remember doing anything. 
<laughs> yeah, now it's so yeah, as you can see standard definition, but without sound on in this case. So yeah, it's, it's not not refined or anything, and not smooth, but it works. And uh, maybe if I restart the browser or something, it starts to work again. Just go to my website once again for the last time. See if we can do that uh, also in the embed. I'm pretty sure we can. Okay. Unfortunately, I think the if I were to add in my uh, URL here in the script we downloaded, I think it would have recognized it, but uh, in this case it thinks it's not in the list and that's why it doesn't show up there. Uh, I'm sure you can fix that rather easily, just padding the URL in the script, but I don't know how to do that right now. Anyway, guys, this is my quick little video. It turned out into a much longer video than I first thought and wanted, but here is a YouTube playback on a PowerBook G4 PowerBC running on 1204. You don't even necessarily need to go higher than that. Uh, it runs just as fine on this old operating system, so no reason for really going higher. I'm very sure it would perform much faster and nicer on like a MDD Power Mac or even G5 Power Mac. But here in a single core uh, with a gig of RAM, eh, it, I mean this is not the fault of the developers at all, nothing. They did an awesome job creating this browser and plugin and all the scripts. It's just that the computer is just too weak. But it can be done and that that's making me pretty happy. So yeah. <laughs> Here you go, my little test is over, I quite enjoyed it, keep up the great work, shout out to all the guys here that developed the browser, uh, they just don't let these old operating systems die, so you can run these now on uh, version 10.4, 10.5, 10.6, and and uh, Linux, and you know, great stuff. So. Thank you a lot, and we will see us in the next video, hopefully. See you later.